Okay. Um, I actually like what I did last week, which was Sunday ended up being my thoughts that I thought about the Parsha from the week before. So let me do that again. Just, um, um, okay. So there's a, there's a Pasuk that I never really paid attention to um, enough, um, but it's very, very carefully um, constructed. Um, after Yosef turns to his brothers and he reveals himself, so what does he say? Right, he says, I'm your brother, I want you to go back, I want you to tell Yaakov what's going on. But, uh, but what does he actually say? <coughs> tell him that I am working in Mitzrayim. Good, so when you think about it, like, generically, it's not such a, right, it's... Yeah, that's what it is. Tell him I'm the king or whatever, second right. command. But listen to how the Pesukim actually presented. Vata. Right, so first he tells them, You, lo atem shlachtem oti heina, ki Elohim. Vasimeni la'av lefaro, ul'adon ochol beito, u'moshel bechol eretz mitzrayim. It wasn't you who sent me here, it was God. But then he says, and what did God do to me here? He uses two descriptions. Vasimeni la'av lefaro, he made me a father for Paro, which is a bit of a strange word to use. Or a father for Paro, it means that he's taking care of him, it means that he's his advisor, something like that, and I am a master of Mitzrayim. Right? Meaning I'm not the master over Paro, but I am in some sense a uh, guiding figure for Paro. And now, he, Pasuk Ted, which is the next Pasuk, he tells him, he tells his brothers, go back to Yaakov and tell him what's going on. And what does he say to him? How should he describe what's going on with him? Maharu valu el avi. Go and tell my father, Vamarta elav, Vamarta elav, kol mar bincha Yosef, Samani Elohim la adon l'chom mitzrayim, ridai lay al tamod. Go tell my father that I'm an adon l'chom mitzrayim, I'm a master of mitzrayim, go down and don't, don't stay here, right? Don't 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 slow down. Now what's right, what is what, what what's strange? What did he do there? That seems very intentional. He emphasized the fact that he has so much power. Yeah, but what did he not do? He did not, mm-hmm. you know, go through. I'm Yosef. No, he removes the word of. He says, "I'm an of. I'm a father to Paro and I don't know how to try him. Go to my father." And tell him, I'm an Adon, the Chomet But what does he leave out? Uh, Don't tell him, I'm an Av, Taparo. Uh, right? But he's also just an Av. What? As kids. Like, why, why can't he leave in the word Av? Well, that, that isn't what he said to his brothers. He's not talking about that. That's not the relevant point, is that he's a father. It's that he's a symbolic father to, to Paro. Yeah, that's why he was named Avrich. Good. Well, it's not clear what it's not clear what Avrich means. No one knows yeah. what it means. Right? Meaning, what you just said is what... Uncle has said, except in order for Uncle to get to that point, he has to he has to include Latin in his perush. because oh. he says Avle Melachim. Right? That yeah. Do you know where he get that from? What Av Reich. Av yeah. Where, how is Reich Melach? Oh, I don't know. It just seems like an easy step. No, because in Latin R E X, like Tyrannosaurus Rex, is king. That's it's so Av Rex. Cool. It's Av Rex. That's it's what that means? Fa- yes, a father to so king. Cool. It's Latin. Right, it's a very I strange favorite. Dinosaurs and, and Marshall, I love it. Okay, yeah. Wait, what? Dinosaurs. Av, when when Uncle says Avreich, right, that Yosef was called Avreich, and Uncle says Avle Melachim, that he's the father of kings, which is obviously what he's invoking from this pasuk, right? That I'm the Av to Paro. But how do you get that linguistically? You get it because Rex in Latin means king, and Avreich is something like Avrex. Now that's clearly how this is coming here, right? Clearly the. Cle- or other way around. Clearly, the reason that Unculus thinks that Avrech means Av to the king <coughs> is because here Yosef describes himself as the Av le Paro. Uh, but, like, but what's strange right, and clearly intentional is that whatever Av le Melachim means, that I'm the guide, I'm the advisor, I'm. Even though I'm not technically more powerful than I'm. Whatever, I'm a. Whatever you think that means, he doesn't want to say to his father. I'm a father. Right? I'm like, because really it probably means something, right? it probably doesn't just mean like father, it means something more like patriarch. Right? It's not just like father, it's, it has that connotation of like the father of the clan or something like that, 
I don't know. But it's clear that he's saying, tell my father that I'm an Adom, but don't tell my father I'm an Av, even though that's what I am to you. Uh, yes. Was, but Rome was founded centuries after the Torah was written. Rome? Rome. Yeah. It's so like, so why would you make a land derivation? I have no idea, but that seems to be what Unclus is doing, and no one really, because Unclus already is post that, yeah. right? But he's yeah. trying to figure out linguistically. Yeah. Right? It could be that they both come from some cognate, who knows? Right? I don't know if he's thinking Rex or thinking cognate of Rex or something like that, right? But this is the, anyways. Um, but I think that's what he's doing. But then it gets even, a, right, let's push this. It's a little bit stranger because you would say, okay, so maybe this is just that he wants to, like, respect his father's feelings. So he doesn't want to call himself father, patriarch, when talking to his father. Well, that makes sense, except let's think about something. When Yaakov finally agreed to send Binyamin, and he wanted to show deference to the viceroy, who didn't yet know was Yosef, what did he do? What was his suggestion? You remember? Take the money, take extra money to buy new food. Right, take the money from last time, take new money, and... Silver cut? Gift. Silver what type Silver of gifts? gifts? What type of gifts? He's in gifts, good. What type of gift? Send him produce from the land of Israel. Well, that's up. Why? Wait, what's the logic? Because this is diplomatic. What do you do when you have a diplomatic oh, sure. gift? Sure. It's not just that. What do you do? How do you represent yourself? Send stuff that's unique. You send something that's unique to your country because you're you're a family, you're a clan in Israel, and you're going on behalf of this clan in Canaan. You're going to Mitzrayim. How are they getting produce if they're in the middle? That's of the a head? good question. Fine, but just think about that for a moment. What does Yosef do? What does he send to his father? Uh, no, go go yeah, what are they filled with? To his father, specifically. Ulaviv shalach, tizot, asarach omarim, nosim mituv mitrayim. Everybody else just gets food. What does he get? Something, yeah, but something, that's, something that's definitional to Egypt. Which means that his father had sent to him, as the viceroy, some Kinaan esque tribute. And now Yosef flips that and sends everybody else food, but he sends his father Mitzrayim, Mitzrayim tribute. Which again, and this is where, again, I haven't fully worked out my thoughts on this, but I think these two things are connected. The one, right, Zev walked in late for the first part, but the fact that he says, Right. I am Av Leparo, Adon Lechol Mitzrayim. But when he says, go back to my father, don't say I'm an Av, just say, I'm an Adon Lechol Mitzrayim, which seems specifically, right, I mean, that's, that possibly includes both Av and Mitzray and Adon, except it's my father is Av and I'm only an Adon, because it sounds like what he's saying is, I can't view myself as an Av, right, as a patriarch when I'm talking about my father. But you also see that in the way he treats his father in terms of the tribute he sends, it's the same that his father sent when he conceptualized Yosef as the Viceroy. So I wonder whether these are working together, that what Yosef is doing is he's saying, look, he can say to his brothers, I am the patriarch of the, in some weird way, of the family of Paro. Right? Meaning even though he's more powerful than I am, I'm his advisor. He looks up to me for guidance. I'm that father figure in a weird sense to, to Paro. Right? Avla milachim. Avreich, as Unkelis understands it. And I'm also not doing the Chomet Shrine. But go to my father. It's not, it's chutzpah for me to say to my father, I'm an Av. Right? Tell my father I'm an Adon the Chomet Shrine. But I think what feeds into that is he says, and why is it such, it's not just chutzpah because my father is my father. I can't say I'm a father to my father. But because that same role in a certain sense is what my father should be filling or does fill as the father of this clan in Canaan. By coming here, right, I'm the, right, I'm the power but that's very awkward. So he 
the way his father and one of the tensions in the story is constantly the way that his father is respecting him as king which is weird right? his father is sending tribute he doesn't know it's Yosef yet but still that's weird so he reverses it and says okay send everyone else to give food but send a diplomatic tribute to my father which I think again is part of Yosef's trying to grapple with this question of how exactly do I deal with the fact that my father is supposed to be the patriarch when he comes here it's just not the case I have to treat him that way right but realistically by leaving Canaan coming to Mitzrayim it's going to change that dynamic and this sort of odd dynamic um, plays itself out also in this week's parsha. Right? I mean now that we skip to right now we've come to Vayichi because there right, ya- Yaakov is the father figure but and he's asking father like things from his son but he's clearly at the disadvantage right? it's Yosef I need you to take my body out of here not your brother is you because you are the leader, I don't have the power. I want to leave, but it's really under your right, dominion. And there is that, and he's bowing to him, and Chazal pick up on this and criticize it. But there is this awkwardness, right, that Yosef doesn't want that to be the relationship, but it is if you're in Egypt. And I think that this use of Av, right, him specifically saying, I'm not at, leave out the word Av and talk to my father, right, send a tribute to him is a way of him trying to, to acknowledge the fact that his father is still the patriarch, but the reality is in Egypt that's not the dynamic, right? And, you know, you, 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 he's in this weird position, right? Yaakov is like the king father, whatever that is, if there's an equivalent, right? He's, Paro clearly is giving him chief. respect. No, he's not. Yosef is the chief by the time you get to Egypt. That's my point. In Egypt, oh. he's not, right? Meaning, he should be, but you, you can't be the clan chief. He is the head of the family, but Yosef is more powerful. So, sure, Paro gives him deference, but gives him deference because he's Yosef's father. Mm-hmm. Right? And by next week's par- by this week's parasha, again, Yaakov is asking Yosef to bury him, but he is at the disadvantage. Yosef holds the power, and there's this odd power dynamic that I think the parasha is trying to point us to, and also hinting to us that Yosef is trying to deal with it, trying to grant the father he respect. The, uh, his father, the respect he deserves, even though the reality is by coming to Mitzrayim, right, his father will not function in the same way as patriarch because Yosef is the one who's feeding everybody, taking care of make sure they live. That, that's the type of thing a patriarch does, not somebody, not one of the kids. And therefore you have this weird thing where he really is the Av, right? He's the Av even to Paro. But he tries to not be the Av when his father's around, but the reality is that he is. And that's the, I think that's the, the, irony that the Pesukim are, that Yosef himself is trying to deal with, and that the Pesukim are pointing to in Vayigash and Vayichi. Um, those are my thoughts. If you have something more firm on it, but I think that that's definitely at least the tension that it's trying to develop.